Hi and welcome to another uh, inbox review. Um, I thought I'd give this trumpeter kit a go. Um, a P51D Mustang, um, 132nd scale. Uh, main reason I was sort of curious was one, I managed to actually pick this up at quite a good price. Uh, two, um, recent flooring models were talking about um, how good some of the old trumpeter kits were, so I thought, well, let's give it a go. Um, interesting to see how it sort of compares with obviously the Tamiya uh, P51D which obviously you know supposed to be the best kit out there um, but obviously has quite a significantly in you know bigger price um, to it um, obviously there's, there is aftermarkets you can buy for this in fact I have one piece which I managed to get uh, again at a fairly reasonable price to obviously add a bit extra to the kit um, but let's take a look and see um, if it's going to be better well, it's not going to be better than the Tamiya, I don't, I don't doubt that, but hopefully it could still build into a nice kit, so let's take a look. Um, you've got some specs here, parts, etc. Um, 296 pieces. Um, quite a nice bit of box art there. You've got a couple of decal scheme options. It comes with a little bit of photo etch down here, so that's nice. Um, and pretty much, this is quite a big box, quite difficult to squeeze in. Um, but you can see here, um, item number of 02275. So that's all nice. Bit of there, the made model, bit of information on the model itself. So that's all, that's all good. Right, let's just crack straight in here. Squeaking the seat. We'll start with the instructions and decals, and then we'll come to the, the kit parts in a moment. Let's zoom in a little bit here for you. That'll be good. Um, fairly standard type of trumpeter stroke hobby boss type instruction sheet. Um, it's in um, just standard black and white. Um, it, you do get a bit of information, um, read before assembly stuff, decal application, and some in, indication of the of the symbols, what they mean. Then we go straight in uh, to the sprue mapping and what we get with the kit. So we get some tires, which I think are rubber in this case. Uh, decals. We get a film for the instrument panel. Um, and some photo etch uh, PE parts. Uh, comes with an engine, as you can see there, that goes through the process of building up the engine, which is nice. And then we go through the engine. In fact, the first, pretty much the first 10 parts of the instructions are, are really dedicated to the, the building of the engine. Um, we get photo etch belts by the looks of things, judging by what we can see here. Then we've got the seat. Then we go into various uh, radiators, uh, air, uh, oil coolers probably here, and then we start to go into the uh, the main um, cockpit assembly, um, instrument panel, and the main bits and pieces here. So that's quite nice. It all looks pretty good. Wings. Um, let's get that out of the way. Sorry about that. Wings. We've got. Uh, we can show the machine guns, the 50 cows. Uh, and obviously we've got the sort of ammunition feeds here, so that's quite good if you want to add that in. Although, um, you know, how detailed that's going to be, maybe resin extras that you could possibly buy to improve that. Uh, wheel bay, again, looks quite detailed from here, uh, but I guess we'll see when we look at the parts. Various bits for the flaps, etc. going on here, they, they can be, I guess, although they don't indicate they could be posed um, down, uh, I'd imagine with a bit of careful um, you know, chopping off the tabs, you can probably do something with those if you wanted to. A um, little bit of interior work going here on the con on the co side of the cockpit, uh, and various bits and pieces here. Uh, horizontal stabilizers. We've got a couple of different fuel tank options and a bomb. Um, make two, make two, make two. So you've got different options there. Then we've got the main fuselage parts going together. Um, 
looks pretty good. Then the really the you know the last bits coming together that you've previously built the you know the wings, the stabilizers, and the, obviously the cover for the engine. Um, and then we really just come on to the landing gear here. Uh, there's also rockets, a rocket option. And then really we're coming to the last few bits. We've got some PE for the sort of um, injection shoots for the, um, I'll get the right word in a minute, <laughs> for the ammunition, um, various bits and pieces going on, fuel tanks, etc. cetera. Um, all told 37, 38 uh, steps. Then we're really just coming, the last bits of the prop and the, uh, and the, um, the canopy. All looks pretty good though. It's pretty, pretty nice. Um, we get a full, which is always nice again with the sort of Hobby Boss Trumpeter um, options you normally get. Um, a colour call out, which is for colour. This is really nice, actually, it's fantastic um, all metal uh, finish. Uh, some nice colours there. And there's actually more stencils than you realise. So there's quite, actually quite a lot of stencils going on there. But you can see that, okay. Uh, colours, you actually get Humbrol. Tamiya, Model Masters, Vallejo and Mr. Hobby. Um, although you're probably better off with Mr. Hobby because you can get all the colours. Although I'm sure it would be easy to source these colours for, you know, it's P51 in pretty much any brand. <clears throat> um, we only get the, oh no, we do get the gear. So the main call out focus obviously is on this, this version. Um, but we do get the, the second version B here. Um, I kind of did with the D-Day stripes, not so detailed unfortunately, but uh, there we go. Um, let's take a quick look at these decals. Um, I don't think this has been opened before. I did buy this kit second hand, so it's possible, but it doesn't look like it has been. I'll open that up. These look pretty good. Well protected, which is nice. Yes, they are nice actually. It's real, I don't know how well you can see it, but really, really vibrant colours, nice gloss uh, decals. It doesn't seem to be a lot of carrier film. I have to say, these are better than some of the Hobby Boss decals I've worked with. Although they're okay, these sometimes I find the colours are a bit wishy washy. Uh, but these are really nice and vibrant, and it all looks good. Uh, let's quickly look at the stencils here. Again, we've got some stencils there. Hopefully the camera will focus nicely on those, you can see those. Again, they all look pretty good. Nice, no complaints there. Although, of course, there's plenty of aftermarket option, options out there. Now, this one has been opened. This is the main fuselage. Interestingly, in the kit, and we'll bring it out at the same time, we do get the same, exactly the same sprue in clear. So if you wanted to sort of super detail the interior uh, and have a clear, clear sprue, um, you know, you've got that option. Um, I'm not sure I would use this, but maybe, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Um, but let's actually look at the main sprue. So. First thing, it's fairly typical, fairly typical sort of plastic or um, the sort of Hobby Boss type kits and trumpeter kits, I think are pretty much the same. Um, looks nice, there's no, I can't see any particular flash or problems there. Might be a little bit of sort of flash or down the bottom here, but it's so tiny, it won't take any anything to clean it up. You've got some interior ribbing, a little bit of interior detail here. Uh, not sure if that's focusing quite as well as it should be. Come on, it's not liking this plastic, I don't think. Um, you've got some nice detail here on the um, gear bay, uh, the doors for the wheels. Um, there's no injection pin marks here, which is good. I've obviously carefully put them on the side. You can see the injection molding pins. Um, the surface detail is nice. You've got recessed panel lines. You've got a lot of rivets. Maybe a bit excessive, but still going to probably look quite good when it's finished. Hopefully that's nice. That looks good. Okay, let's put that over there. 
I won't go with the, the clear part, it's exactly the same sprue, um, just in clear, clear plastic. We've then got lots of little bits and pieces, two sprues in this next bag. Um, mostly looks like it concentrates on the cockpit details and the machine guns, machine gun bodies here, instrument panel, this is designed to take this film. And you've got the main cockpit floor here, various bits and bobs. Again, what's nice is you have actually got some detail behind the instrument panel there. Um, again, it's a clean sprue, doesn't seem to be any flash or anything nasty and the details reasonably crisp. And again, much the same on this sprue if the focus will behave itself. There you go, that's hopefully better. Um, you've got the little battery boxes on the top, they're quite detailed, the, the machine gun bullet sort of uh, there, back of the seat, again that all looks various instrument uh, controls for the side of the cockpit there, again clean, there are some injection pin marks but I would imagine that there are any areas you're never, you're never going to see. And we've got another small bag. Here looks pretty good again. We've got um, the wheel hubs, propeller parts, some, some walls. I think they're probably for the wheel wells um, here and here. And we've got some more landing gear doors there the main landing gear parts here by the looks of things and then they've got these sort of various uh, coolers, radiator parts. Again, it all looks nice. There's no uh, flash or anything particularly unpleasant there that's going to cause any problems that I can see and it's all pretty detailed. Looks good. Okay, still got a fair few bags left. Surprisingly, let's have a look at our next one, which is the wings. Okay, so again, weirdly, the, again, you, the camera's probably not going to pick this up, but this has almost got like a texture to it. It's not particularly smooth. The upper wings are. But these lower wings have got quite weird. A lot of uh, rivets, again, you've got recessed panel lines, but like, uh, an enormous amount of rivets on there, actually. Uh, obviously, the open bays for the guns, reasonable wheel well detail here, um, your bays for the guns here. Um, again, it's relatively flash free, although there may be a little bit of cleaning up needed, a little bit of burring here, but nothing too much to worry about again. I'll bring that in, hopefully the camera will behave. We'll be able to see the amount of rivets that are on this one. There you go. And again on the bottom. I don't know if it'll pick up this texture. It's quite weird. It's quite rough, the plastic. But I'm sure that could be cleaned up without too much drama. Then we've got this main package here, which looks like it consists of pretty much all engine parts. Again, nicely detailed here, here, nicely detailed looking engine components again, pretty much flash free. Come on. <laughs> doesn't want to focus here. There we go. Yeah, that's better. That looks pretty good. More engine parts here. Again, all clean, all good looking parts actually. No complaints there. Um, wow, there's actually quite a lot of sprues for this kit. 
Uh, these are just two identical sprues containing the really the fuel tanks, um, rockets, rocket pods. I believe those are. I'm not really an expert on these things, but you've got two types of tanks, uh, raised lines on these, which I think is correct for these. Um, again, it all looks quite nice, really. There's not much to complain about on that sprue. That's good, and that's two of those. Uh, and probably the main, last main plastic parts are this bit for sort of flaps and horizontal stabilizers. Let's have a quick look at those. Again, it's a clean sprue. There's nothing really to complain about there. I don't think there's anything that's going to give you any problems. Rivets seem to be a little bit less. Excessive, but that's nice. And then the last few bits here. So we've got some different propeller blades here. In fact, these might be the only propeller blades. I can't say I noticed them on the other sprues, but it comes in a separate little packet. I know some of these propeller blades vary on the different models. Um, or sorry, different versions, I should say, perhaps. Um, again, not an expert, but uh, they look quite nice. There doesn't seem to be any ugly sink marks or any real problems with those. Uh, rubber wheels. Let's have a quick look at these. Be careful not to, to lose them and roll away. Um, I know, you know, not, everybody's, not everybody likes rubber wheels. I'm sorry, there we go. But these are not bad as rubber wheels go. They haven't got any horrible seam lines to clean up, which is at least something. Um, the detail is quite good. Uh, obviously, if you were, didn't like the rubber ones, I'm sure there are resin extras out there that you could buy. Clear parts, usually pretty good from sort of Hobby Boss and Trumpeter. I mean, again, I. I well you can see that really but they're clean crisp instrument panel here which I think the film sits behind um, nice actually I really like those should be fairly easy to mark fairly simple to mask without any dramas um, don't think you can complain about that last bits the photo itch um, I think we all know that these aren't generally as good as the Edward equivalent, although these are thinner than some I've come across. They come with it, there's a, like a film across both sides and they're reasonably flexible. Some of, of, of kits I've had them in, uh, again, Hobby Boss Trumpeter, um, they're just yeah, it's so, so thick. It's just, yeah. But these actually look quite nice. Um, although, weirdly, I thought there was seat belts. Is there an ah? <laughs> there we go. I'm not going to get those out, but you've also got seat belts, and there's another type of instrument panel. I don't know whether it makes up with the three parts. You've got the clear, the film, and this. Um, although I haven't found the film, so maybe that's missing, or maybe that's in here somewhere. I don't know. Not sure what's happened to that. Fortunately, this has been open before, so. It's possible the film's got lost. Never mind, we can sort something out there, I'm sure. Um, that's pretty much it for the kit. I think that's all the parts, that's all the bits. Um, one thing I will quickly go over is what I've actually bought for it, which might be useful. I managed to pick up an Ares uh, cockpit. Um, this is for the trumpeter kit, um, and it looks pretty good. You've got nice, resin cockpit there with the batteries already on you've got lots of piping cabling that's going to look nice i think uh you've got the sort of covering for the instrument panel there various small parts there. comes with a seat looks quite good as far as I can tell um, the real detail is probably these cockpit sidewalls as you can see 
probably vastly superior to the um, kit parts, although it'll be interesting to see how well these fit in. I know airy stuff can sometimes be a little challenging. Um, there's our other side there. Nice kit part. Again, you get a instrument panel. I'm not sure why the back of the seat is in a different uh, different colour, but never mind. Um, I think you do. Again, I'm not going to get this out because actually there is a film in here, and again, you've got some nice photo etched parts there. So at least we have got a film we can use whether that's going to be the best way to go, or whether maybe to look for some colour photo etch. Um, I know Edouard do basic uh, sort of um, photo etch and seatbelt set. Uh, not photo etch, it's kind of the, they're almost like 3D uh, resin um, instrument panel and seatbelts. Um, might be worth replacing that uh, for the, that. Um, but we've still got all those nice resin bits, which should look good. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was of some interest. Um, see you again soon.